hey guys and welcome back to another movie review on my channel my name is nefesia i am reviewing a movie called dinner at my place directed by kevin appa now kevin appa actually took so many roles in this movie you know he didn't feature he was not a cast member but behind the scenes, this man directed the movie, he produced it, the executive produced, production manager. He took a lot of, you know, roles. Let's get into the movie review proper. <laughs> movie synopsis. The movie Dinner at My Place is a romantic comedy that tells the story of Nonso, Timini Egusen, who is planning to propose to his girlfriend, Sophie Alakija, over dinner. However, things take a turn for the worst when his dramatic ex-girlfriend Bisola Aguila shows up uninvited. Now, this movie is a rom-com and it's supposed to be intriguing. It's an 84 minutes movie, so it wasn't overly long. Therefore, this review will not be long. The cast members, like I said in the synopsis, it featured Timini Egbusen. Now, Timini surprised me in this movie, not exactly surprised, but this is a character that you've not seen him play. The old Timini wants to propose to somebody, really? Really, you know? He played that in a Sophie Alakija. Sophie actually brings her A-game in her movies. She's one person that somehow, I don't understand why though, you can tell that she puts a lot of energy, but it's like she's not really in sync with her co-stars. That's... I really don't know how to explain that. Did you see? Outside of that, there is Bisola Ayola. Bisola's character is a typical Bisola that we know. But this movie, she had to um, adjust her pitch or voice a little bit. It was a little awkward at first, almost like irritating to the hair. But as the movie progressed, you get used to her actually talking like that. So I think you can pardon that. And it put her in a different light, but supposed to be this very dramatic person. So with the high pitch of voice, it kind of worked with the character that she was playing. Then there is Al's... There is Charles Etubebu. I mean, excuse me, I'm actually going to butcher his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But you see him mostly in rom-coms and web series. Then there is Uche Montana. Uche Montana featured in Hide and Seek and she really did well. So she's an actor that actually knows how to act. And she's pretty, like really beautiful. Moving on from the cast members, these guys actually acted well. The cast members did a good job. Let's talk about the storyline and then we'll get to the things that I don't like about the movie and the things I like about the movie and I'll be concluding and giving you my recommendations concerning the movie. Now, the storyline is one that is a rom-com. It's cliche and it's supposed to be expected. You can tell that this is what they're going to be saying in the movie. So it's not like it's something big, but uh, the story was kind of shaky because it's like I can tell what is going to happen and then uh, the other end it's like I really don't know what is happening What is happening here? So it gets you a little bit confused and there's a lot of cutting and joining in the storyline But overall the end will not leave you Overwhelmed or underwhelmed, you know, it's just there. It's just an okay storyline enough for them to actually be in the cinema And then this movie didn't my place has been shot before the director already released a movie like this in 2019, but it was a short story, a short movie. So I think making it into a full-length movie was because of the success of the 2019 Dinner at My Place because it won different awards. In fact, this 2022 movie actually won the Nollywood movie of, of, the, of the month or something, Best Weekend Movie, something like that. It actually did win. That was one of the reasons I went to see the movie because I'm like, okay, this movie is already winning all of these, you know, things and it's just like a week in the cinema so i went to see it now let's fast forward to the things i like about the movie the set design was beautiful the house of nonso nonso's house was beautiful the hotel they used was nice even the cab driver mc lively i did not know why they had to cast him but they wanted to add a little bit of humor i get so i can't forgive that but the set design was nice production was nice the picture quality was beautiful you could tell i mean there was a lot of drone capturing they used to the drone a lot the pictures were nice you could tell they used very nice equipment to shoot this movie i've talked about the storyline and the images those are all like all the other things that we hear about the movie and then the cast members did a good job too yeah now what do i not like about the movie <laughs> guys like i said there's something off i don't know there was something off but between timini and sophie that is Nonso and Chioma because in the synopsis you understand that Nonso was supposed to propose to Sophie to Chioma and then his ex-girlfriend came into the picture there was even more chemistry between Timini and Bisola that is 
um, busy and non so in that movie compared to the people that are supposed to actually be in love. But I understand that given that Bisola and Timini were together for about five years and it was just together and it was with Chioma for about two years. So maybe that's why that happened. But the chemistry between Sophie and Timini, in fact, they had a kissing scene, I think when he proposed to her or something, they had a kissing scene that was without passion and I was like, are they supposed to be dating or something? It was, it was a little bit off between them. But aside of that, I mean, Cynthia, that is Nonso's, um, Chema's friend and Nonso's friend in that movie actually had some kind of chemistry and they wanted to go out. The chemistry between these guys, intending couples, was actually more sweet. You could tell the, the, the tension between them, right? Compared to the people that are actually supposed to be in love and want to marry themselves. A lot of, I don't know, it's just awkward. Let me not dwell on that though. What else did I not like about the movie? I did not like that. The movie was kind of exaggerated. Yes, I understand it's a cliche rom com, right? It's, the storyline is it's not supposed to make sense per se but there were a lot of exaggerations but if you're somebody that you can overlook a lot of loopholes in your movie then you should go see the movie because the exaggeration is not something you can't live without in fact there was a lot of, there was a lot of laughing in the hall when i was seeing the movie so it's like yeah you can forgive it but for me it was a little bit too much right meanwhile before i do that i know i've said a lot of meanwhiles but then i need you to subscribe to this channel if you're here to do that and if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up and like it subscribe and share it. it's totally free to do that you can even take it a step further if you're really invested in this by clicking on the bell icon it is the notification bell so you will not miss uploads when i have them for your viewing pleasure thank you very much for doing that let's talk about my conclusion of this movie finally this movie is one that you will enjoy if you go to the cinema or if you download it for whatever way you want to see it by following my number one rule to see a nigerian movie and that rule is that you have to go with an open mind guys if you go to see this movie expecting to be entertained expecting to laugh expecting to have don't go without don't go with expectations basically go with go expecting a little go with an open mind like it's let's see if i enjoy this movie fine if i don't enjoy it i would not want to throw my popcorn at somebody at the end of the day you get what i'm trying to say so if you go with an open mind you're going to like it and also ensure that you've digested your food properly or you don't have a weak stomach because there was a lot of reference to poop i mean very graphic shit content like literal shit content very graphic ones so if you don't have a weak stomach or you can't stomach things that have to do with um shit and poop then you might want to avoid this movie but after, outside of that the movie is actually one that i did enjoy it's not one that is memorable so if you love smooth chaos yes that's the movie for you it's not it's not one that you'd want to go back to see but it's and it's one that you actually forget because trust me the person that played Nonso's friend, I can't remember the character's name. I know it's Charles in reality, but I can't even remember what it was called in that movie. So it's as unmemorable as that. Just saying. But yeah, you would enjoy the movie. I mean, you wouldn't want to throw your popcorn because I didn't want to do that. At the end, I was like, okay, eh, and I didn't sleep. Yeah, so that works. Guys, I'm going to end this video here. Go and see the movie and if you've seen the movie and you don't agree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section if you agree, if you think I missed something out. And if you remember this guy's name, you can do well. So please leave it in the comment section for me. Just help my memory. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video, guys. And like I said, it's like, what is wrong with you guys, though? Subscribe already. Please. And share this video help the ministry so that i'll come and give you more movie reviews and recommendations meanwhile if there is a movie you want me to review you can do well to put it in the comment section also you can send me a dm on instagram i'm very much available for you thank you very much for watching this video again and bye guys